In this lesson, we'll cover placing slanted structural columns in a 3D view. Placing these columns in 3D is very similar to placing them in an elevation or section view. The difference, though, is you do not have to set a plane or a reference surface for creating the slanted columns. That's because in the 3D view, you're clicking points, and those points may be on the same plane or they may not be. So to create this structural column that's slanted in 3D, let's go to the Structure tab on the ribbon, then choose Column. Verify on the right side of the ribbon, Slanted Column is selected. Now, on the Options bar, Revit is going to ask, from what level to what level are you going to draw this structural column? Let's say from level 1 to level 2, with zero offset, and we're going to allow 3D snapping. So I'm going to zoom in and I'm going to select the bottom of one of my existing columns. And then I'm simply going to select the underneath of the floor above. Now I can set the angle or distance if I choose. And when you pick, Revit will draw the column from point to point. To end the command, simply click Modify. Now to actually draw another one, let's say from the second floor to the third floor, let's start the column command again. Verify slanted is selected. So I'm going to set my first click at level 2 and second click to level 3. Now once again, I'll select a point on the second level, such as on the floor, drag my mouse to the level above, and I'll select a point on it. And Revit draws a column that's slanted from point to point. Click Modify to end the command. 